Hey guys, today we're going to do a flip through from this tarot deck that I have and this is called the Undersea Tarot. To give you a little backstory of me and this tarot deck, a while back I bought this tarot deck for, for a friend, I believe it was around Christmas time, I can't remember, but I remember getting this deck for a friend. And when she opened up the deck and looked at the cards, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I gotta buy this deck for myself. Because this is an absolute beautiful deck. The uh, creator of the deck, it says here, is created by Frank uh, Fradella. And the artwork is by Jezio Martinez. So hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, the artwork on this deck is absolutely beautiful beautiful so let's give a quick uh, look at these cars now I'm not gonna show you all the cars number one and there's certain cars I can't show you because it has nudity in it and I don't want YouTube to take the video down or whatever so there's some cars that are absolutely beautiful but can't put them up on my channel because of the fear that you know I don't want them to take the channel down or whatever or put me in YouTube jail or Facebook jail or wherever this um, video ends up so I'm just gonna go give you a quick one through and just let you know you can get this uh, tarot deck from amazon.com the problem is I guess this deck is out of print because when I see it on Amazon it was like a hundred dollars I love this deck but it's not worth a hundred dollars so it's probably out of print I see it at other places on eBay for like 60 so I'm guessing that it might be out of print or kind of rare. So I'm glad I got it while I had the opportunity to get it before the price went way up. So if you really like the deck, you can still get it. Um, just got to pay a little extra money for it. But anyway, this is the deck. I'm just going to go through some of the cards and kind of give you the feel uh, of the card and what it means to me. I'm not going... From the little booklet here, I checked to see if they had a you know large booklet that really goes into the cards, but I wasn't able to find that. So if you guys know of a large booklet that goes with this deck, you know shoot it in the comments here, and let me know because I I probably will go out and get it. And like I said, I did a quick search and I didn't see anything. So it does come with a small little booklet also. So. It does give you the meaning. But I'm just going to give you my interpretation of the cards. And as I said, this is sort of like a flip through video. I haven't um, looked at these cards for a while. I am going to start using it in my daily practice because I absolutely love this deck. And I do collect tarot decks. All right, so this right here, this card, the first card that kind of popped out in mind. And granted, this is not in an order so I'm just kind of grabbing some of these cards at random this is the wheel of fortune and the interesting thing about this card is it looks like it's the uh, sea serpent here or Leviathan um, is coming uh, out of a whirlpool so I think that's really <laughs> interesting you know wheel of fortune a whirlpool and he has some white doves here and he looks like they have a Noah's Ark in the background. <laughs> it's probably not Noah's Ark. I'm just playing with you guys. But uh, it is a ship in the, in the background. So, if this came up in a tarot card reading, it might not be the most favorable thing you want to <laughs> have come up. But um, as far as the artwork here, it is absolutely brilliant. Okay, I'm just, like I said, just going to go through a flip through of these cards, and I'm just going to pull out the ones that really stand out to me. This right here is the Hanged Man. And that's, you know, pretty similar to the standard Hanged Man uh, in the Rider Waite deck. Except for this Hanged Man, he looks like he's hanging from the sea. Or hanging from a branch above the sea, rather. Excellent, excellent artwork here. Okay, the next, oh, I really like this one. This is cool. This is Death. Isn't that really cool? So it's Death, and Death right here is underwater. 
So this could be like a watery depth. This could mean like a, a whole host of things if you do a tarot card reading um, for someone. But it looks like they have um, possibly, these might be dead fish or a dead jellyfish right there. And I could be wrong. I had to actually look in the, in the booklet here. But um, this looks like sort of like a jellyfish and it doesn't look healthy. <laughs> That's my in interpretation of it. I could be wrong, but um, I really like the artwork in this one. This is cool. This will make a good poster, by the way. Here's another one, and I'm glad this one is uh, doesn't have nudity in it, so I can show you. This is called Temperance, and Temperance here is a mermaid, and it looks like she has two shells. She's pouring water from one shell to the other shell. So, excellent. She's sort of like sitting on a rock here. And I always love mermaids. Really cool. They have a really cool devil card, but I'm going to show you. And I'm just going to kind of cover up part of it because it has a little bit of nudity here. Put your cards down real quick. This is the devil card. And of course, I'm covering up part of it. But look at the artwork in that. It's like an octopus. And the octopus has his tentacles around a man and a woman. That is cool. That is really awesome. And my uh, camera might not do this card justice. But the artwork is really eye-popping in this card, so I really, really like this. All right, let me grab the deck again. This is the tower card, which I really like this because this is a lighthouse. Isn't that great? And it looks like there's a um, streak of lightning coming from the uh, lighthouse. And, they have, of course, you have the two people falling. But that is really cool. I always liked white uh, lighthouses. I always thought they were really cool. And I always had this fantasy of um, living on a beach and living inside of a giant black lighthouse. That would be like the ultimate thing for me. So I would love to actually live in this <laughs> lighthouse. Minus the lightning and minus falling from <laughs> a tall building, right? But um, being on a, uh, a hill in a, in a lighthouse, that would be absolutely awesome. Can you imagine a view looking down on the beach and looking out in the ocean from a lighthouse? <laughs> really cool. Okay, I'm going to skip the star because it has nudity in it, unfortunately. And I'm going to go to the moon. And we have here a mermaid. That is, it's like she's swimming towards the moon, and she's swimming with other fish. As they say, the moon turns the tides. The moon represents emotions. Very, very awesome card. And a lot of these cards will really make some good posters, too. And this card here, now this is interesting. This is the sun, and I'm not sure what animal that this child is um, actually riding. It could be a, actually I do. It looks like a seahorse. <laughs> I couldn't make it out at first, but yeah, that's a seahorse. So that is the sun. Isn't that really cool? So the take on this deck, you know, from the from the sea and from mermaids and stuff like that. It's really cool. It's very imaginative and I am absolutely grateful to have this deck with me, especially since the price hike of this tarot deck. I'm going to skip judgment and I'm going to skip the world. Unfortunately, those have nudity in them and I can't show you here on YouTube. But I am going to show you the Knight of Swords. Now again, we have seahorse, a seahorse here, a black seahorse, and a knight that is riding the seahorse. Really awesome. 
going to skip here. What happens when you don't touch your mouse every now and then? The, um, the lights kind of go dim, so there you go. This card here is very interesting. It kind of reminds me of uh, something you would see in a pirate movie. Um, this is the Ten of Swords. And it looks like the swords uh, have stabbed this guy <laughs> to death. So I don't know what he did. I don't know what the guy did in this uh, <laughs> scenario. But apparently it wasn't something really good. But um, yeah, this is the Ten of Swords. Now this is a very interesting card. And this could be multiple. multiple. It could mean multiple things in a tarot card reading and basically this is like a sea monster and the girl here is sort of like in despair so we kind of see the sea monster coming up behind her and she's looks like she's crying interesting card and that could have multiple meanings um, in a tarot deck reading I'm gonna skip the eight of swords because of the nudity and let's see what other car stands out. Forgive me, I'm sort of like going through these cars really, really, um, really quickly. This card here is the Queen of Tridents, and I really like this. The Undersea Queen with a trident, and that is awesome. Awesome. Alright, so let's go to the next one. I always had a thing for Stingrays. So this is the um, Knight of Trident. And this is the Page of, si of Tridents. And this is a woman with a trident in her hand. Isn't that really cool? The artwork in here. And I'm glad I'm able to show you the artwork in this card. And uh, she's covered up, so there's no nudity in this one. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to see if I can find a couple more that really stand out to me. Let's see. Oh, I really like this one. This is the Ace of Tridents. Yeah. That's one of the things I need to get for myself. I need to get myself a trident. <laughs> I have a you know, sword. I have a wand. Um, and I have a staff um, that was given to me. Um, the staff that was given to me was actually from a tree that got struck by lightning. So I really treasure that, um, that staff. And there's a backstory that goes along with that. Um, if you check out my other YouTube videos, uh, I kind of go into how I acquired that um, staff. But anyway, I need a trident too. <laughs> so that's my next goal is to get a trident. All right, so let's go to another card. This one kind of sticks out. This is the Queen of Shells. So I'm guessing shells here is like pentagrams, you know, pentacles. Nice. I, I just, you know, I have a thing for mermaids, so mermaids are cool. And mermens, too, because this is the king of shells. Okay, so let me see. I flipped through a couple more of these. As I said, I'm not going to show you all the cards. It's going to give you the flavor of the deck. The Three of Shells is really, really a cool card, but I can't show you because it's nudity. I don't know why people have such a problem with nudity. <laughs> Probably because of kids, but you know, all of my videos are age restricted, so you have to be 18 in order to view uh, videos, my videos on YouTube. I'm sure there's ways around that, and I don't really have anything that's... Um, really inappropriate, you know, to kids as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, I try to have it so, you know, young people 
people who are too young to understand what I'm talking about are not able to view my videos. All right. So let me kind of slide through some of these cards. I'm avoiding the, um, the nudity that's in a couple of them. And let's see which one stands out. Here's another one that I really like. This is the Ace of Starfish. Isn't that cool? So that one kind of stood out. Uh, let's see. This is the Emperor. Sort of look like Poseidon. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this right here. Okay, let's see what else kind of stands out. Oh, I really like this one. This is cool. I'm glad I can show you this because it doesn't have any nudity in it. Um, this is strength. So usually strength, you know, it has a woman, she's like, uh, has her, she's opening the mouth of a lion or has her head in a lion's mouth or whatever, you know, depends on what deck you're looking at. But this one, she looks like she's um, opening the mouth of a crocodile underwater. Yeah, that is really, really cool. And I can get like multiple meanings from this, you know. Because it's underwater, it represents the unconscious mind. It represents psychic abilities. Um, it represents you overcoming the um, your animal nature or your reptilian nature. So this is a very awesome card. So I really like this. And of course, this could have multiple meanings if it came up in a tarot card reading. Okay, I think I've pretty much come full circle. I skipped a bunch of cards. I might go over maybe like one or two more. It's kind of hard when you got to skip to um, the nudity in the deck. Fortunately, I can't show those. Okay, this one is really good. This is the Three of Swords. And it looks like a slunking ship. Okay, let's do one more. All right, let's see, which one am I gonna do? Which one stands out? And I definitely will be um, using this car, uh, this, this tarot um, deck in my personal practice. I might do readings from it also. Uh, but you know, certain tarot decks I just use for myself. And yes, you can read for yourself regardless what other people say. Okay, one more. Trying to get one that is sort of unusual. Maybe I'll do two more. Because both of these kind of stood out to me. Sit these down for a second. All right. So these are the last two cards I'm going to go over. This is the Ace of Shells. Looks like there's a, um, a moon in the background. But I could be wrong. This could be a sun. I would have to actually go through the little booklet that goes along with this tarot card, but um, that's nice. I really like that. And this right here is the Two of Swords. I like that with the swords kind of going like that. That is really cool. All right, so that is sort of my um, flip through of uh, this uh, tarot deck that I have. It's called the Undersea Tarot. You can get it from Amazon. You'll be spending a little extra money if you get it from Amazon. Um, and Amazon is a little over $100, so you're going to be spending a little money for it. And it's probably, probably because it's out of print, I'm guessing. That's why the price is up. Um, you can, I saw it on eBay for maybe like $60 or $70. You might be able to find it cheaper, you know. It's up to you. You just got to Google and kind of do a little search for the uh, tarot deck and see what you come up with. But um, excellent deck. I recommend you getting the deck. And um, if you have the deck, let me know what you think of it. All right. Until next time, love is the law and peace. Uncle Jocelyn Mel, and I'll talk to you later.